We've previously described how having too low iron leads to improper oxygen delivery and handicapped red blood cells. Now, at the end of that video, I did mention there are some disastrous consequences if you end up over consuming iron, which might have you turning yellow if overdone. And that truly is a concern because if left unregulated, high iron consumption for a long time can lead to this outcome. Now, I doubt I need to tell you this, but in case you're colorblind, your eyes and skin are not supposed to be yellow. And that outcome shortly before death can be caused by iron toxicity. So buy my iron detoxifying supplement, link in the description. Short of that, luckily, there are some warning signs before utter disaster, even before turning into a walking beacon of Gondor. Usually overconsumption of iron, at least in a short period of time, will lead to serious intestinal pain because iron molecules are highly reactive. And unless they are molecularly bound by proteins that reduce their reactivity, they can kill the epithelial cells in the intestines, leading to cramping and internal bleeding. Okay, but assuming you ignore the agonizing pain or you gradually overdose, why does your body turn yellow? The reason is related to your blood. Typically, your bones generate red blood cells using iron as a key molecule to generate hemoglobin. All of that is a normal process, but eventually your red blood cells get old and either lice, which means that they break apart themselves from a stiff cell membrane that's giving away, or they end up in the spleen where they are also degraded. Now, as I mentioned, iron is highly reactive, so the spleen neutralizes the iron in hemoglobin by converting it to a different molecule known as bilirubin. Yes, it's a funny sounding word. Bilirubin then gets transported through the bloodstream to the liver where disaster has struck from your overconsumption of iron. So under normal conditions, the liver would dump that bilirubin into bile and you'd mostly poop it out. However, if the liver has been laboring under iron overload, it will have significant cell death and will be unable to handle incoming bilirubin for processing. So it, well, it just doesn't <laughs> because, well, it has its own problems to deal with. As such, you develop hyperbilirubinemia, that's a tough word to say, which is elevated bilirubin and changes things to the color yellow. It's actually one of the reasons your pee is yellow too, since some of the bilirubin, even under normal conditions, isn't excreted through poop, but through urine. So as bilirubin continues to build up in the bloodstream, it accumulates in different parts of the body, leading to jaundice or yellowing of the body. So iron toxicity is a major worry if it happens, but it isn't going to happen suddenly unless you have well, massively overconsumed iron in one go. We're talking concentrated forms of iron in a pill, for example. However, jaundice doesn't just happen from iron toxicity. Anything that destroys the liver, like excess alcohol, can also lead to bilirubin accumulation. Or buy my iron detoxing supplement. Totally worth it, not at all a scam. Okay, see ya.